Pennsylvania school funding system violates the state constitution. That is the ruling of a Commonwealth Court judge who found that the system lacks the resources to adequately educate all students. This is a landmark case with major implications, especially for low income school districts. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live in the William Penn School District in Lansdowne, Delaware County, which is one of the districts that sparked the lawsuit. Good morning. Good morning, Tam. This was a long awaited decision in a landmark case. William Penn School District among the plaintiffs, which includes six school districts, the NAACP and the Pennsylvania Association of Rural and Small Schools, calling for more equitable distribution of funds for Pennsylvania students. The lawsuit was launched in 2014. The plaintiffs, seeking additional annual aid, argued Pennsylvania's school funding system relies too heavily on local property taxes, which helps widen the gap between rich and poor districts. A judge ruled yesterday yesterday that the state system of funding public schools falls short and has not fulfilled its constitutional obligations to students in the poorest school districts. Writing students in areas with low property values and incomes are deprived of the same opportunities and resources, noting differences in class size, facilities and test scores, among other things. Republican legislative leaders had defended the existing system, saying public school subsidies were adequate and growing. The ruling does not tell the legislature how to distribute the state aid. The decision left to the governor lawmakers and school districts. The Public Interest Law Center and the Education Law Center represented the plaintiffs. The court, um, in accordance with its obligation, ruled that the current system is unconstitutional and then turned it over to the legislature to ensure that it would be constitutional. We all know what kids need and now we got to just, def we have to um, ensure that they have the resources so that they can, they can have those, those strategies in schools. The ruling is close to 800 pages and could be appealed, but the plaintiffs intend to argue against a stay, which would mean the process to make changes would start now. We're live in Lansdowne, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News.